Okay. So let's drop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. This is new. Oh my god, when you press forward, it goes forward. Huh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's pretty fuzzy. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that's uh yeah it's a lot of weights yeah and a little boat well it's two boats going at full speed uh, yeah. the yeah. lights over here of course so this thing's not really helping uh block it a bit the light is always <laughs> always on the side <laughs> and the screen is on uh so how would i instead of complaining i just like move yeah. damn it all that complaining <laughs> wasted. Do you like uh, a I don't think that I do, sadly. It's still at four meters. Four. I'm just doing fast thing. There's enough power to have to the power. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Don't don't like heave on it, but like keep a little bit out. Oh look, that's cool. Oh, well, already fish. Wow. I think we're trying to eat them. Is interesting yeah. and important. Yeah. Because you know what the oh, yeah. starfish wasting? Yeah. yeah. So that is. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Trying to do that. <laughs> okay, three, four, five, 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 five. Um, yeah, we do have, we do have, like I connected the PlayStation joystick. See, what we're getting is uh, the current keeps pulling it in one direction, that's why it's hard to keep. It's not really like the end of the world. Yeah, it must be the tether because oh, it's, not. <laughs> it's, it's over there. Wow, yeah, that's that's interesting. That's uh yeah. That's what Erica was oh, talking yeah. about wow. was that the top current goes one way and the undercurrent goes the other way. So it's like way over there. Yeah. So we'll have to keep playing stuff out. Yeah. Um, but now let's mm -hmm. stick one of these on. Get over here. <laughs> one of these. <laughs> that's what the one of these I'm talking about. Is 
these are really actually plants? No, these, these are plants because the tether is not. Right. Oh. It's just a, Uh, just about seven years, not very deep. Can you let more out? Because the float. Where's the float? There it is. Sad. The sad fact is that. Uh, Ooh, there it goes. Oh, yeah, I turned the power up. <laughs> Didn't really prove. I mean, it's at like 2 meters right now. I can actually go down fast enough that uh, I worry it'll yeah. you know, hit something. something. <laughs> One thing is that things are not as close as they appear to be. Uh, uh, everything is, it's, it's a wide angle lens for one, and then everything is 25% closer even than that. Yeah. Let's turn on the lights. <laughs> I don't know if they're going to help at this point. I hope the time is. Water's much clearer here. You can tell because lasers don't seem to be leaving a trail. <laughs> We're at 20 meters now, though, almost 20 meters. the case of things are not actually as close as they seem. <laughs> hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. You see that? What is that? I don't know. <laughs> a fish. <laughs> fish? Oh yeah, it was a I, I, it was a blur. It seems quite, no, <laughs> like I could see the, the fishiness of its yeah. fish. <laughs> but it, 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 it wasn't clear enough to see what kind. It had like a, a long. Uh, it's a fish. What are the uh, lasers called there? Like, when they come together? They're supposed to be 10 centimeters, uh, and they work as perfect as I could ever imagine to get them. And then when I added the epoxy, um, I think the epoxy was maybe just on one side and after it cured, they weren't, they weren't uh, aligned very well anymore. So sadly they're not as useful as uh, you might hope. Um, okay, let's put another on. It actually seems to be going down. I wonder if there's like a down current because it was possibly buoyant and we've added line to the tether and the tether, the tether is going straight down which uh, 
could be just the weight of the tether to piece the thing. I feel like it would make sense if there's a doubt because of the, uh, it's the wall. Yeah. Here comes another boat. Yeah. This is going to slow. Bit bigger. Yeah. That's why it's going slower. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's going down. Um, and there's a uh, fish. Little fish there. Okay, we can start going down further now. So let's do a little spin here and see if we can see the tether. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the camera is tilted as far down as I can get it. Yeah. Um, and I'm reluctant to tilt it much because on the last trip, it stopped responding. Mm. Mm. Be fast. This is where uh, I don't have. Um, I have it at uh, descent speed, not maneuvering speed, so oh, yeah. that's why it's so jerky. It's interesting how how much uh, control you don't have due yeah. to um, <laughs> yep. just current and what have you. Sort of. Um, what's that? What's it? Slowed down, but we still we still bought this little different. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but that's you oh, see. Those are, uh... <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh, something. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, I wish we could have... I wish we had that, uh... I didn't want to put the camera pointed at that wave, but... That was exciting. <laughs> Oh, okay. Wow. I was terrified for a second. The ROV was moving so little that I thought it was dead. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Just a little lag. Okay, so we're at 38 meters. Hello, tether out. That is another. <laughs> no, 
No, it had a. Uh, I hope it didn't want all that white stuff that we just blew <laughs> off of it. It's like those half shells with the big fish in Silver dollar? Um, bigger. No, you said half shells. Yeah, it's like bigger than that. Silver dollar is kind of a flat sea urchin. I'm impressed with how much mobility we seem to have here. I'm mean, not the greatest pilot, but I'm impressed that we're able to stay on yeah. target here. I don't This is exactly what I had hoped for, that we'd be able to uh, observe things along the wall all the way down. Yeah. I did not expect the wall to continue on such a nice steep cliff all this way down. The wall is... Like the rock is very dark there. Yeah. Or maybe it's just further away. Yeah, that's. <laughs> you don't need giant rocks bumping into the into. <laughs> that sea star but, uh, I mean again when I looked but yeah. uh, we know what depth it was so that's yeah that's the <laughs> we know where it was and was okay, let's I'd hope to record um, the video on its own. I can't remember the specific. Uh, I, I always get it slightly wrong when I try the. That's right. Action equals stream question mark something, and I always put one of them in the wrong spot. You know. <laughs> Uh, the only the reason is that uh, this one site where I'm submitting pictures of stuff, they're very particular for some reason. Hmm. In that, someone seems to be bothered by all of the things on the screen. So let's see here. Um, Like we didn't need those touchscreen controls on there. Yeah. Right. Something is pretty, pretty cool. Yeah. Keep updating it all the time and um, see the top screen it says depth and uh, heading. Yep. When you click on the depth, it holds your depth. Well, it just you know uh, uses the depth sensor to yep. tell where it is and. Powers up or down as required. Thank you. 
lot more sediment here. I wonder. Yeah. And uh, as I move, it's a short ledge or something there. What is this? Oh, it's just more rock. What? Why is the surface of the earth not a nice, even plane as I imagined it in my head? Come on, earth, do it better. Are you able to see the screen? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, having a nice rock wall there was uh, great for navigation. Oh, yeah. You know, I, uh, hmm. Just a little bit. Even though you're not going down, it there's still seems to be a bit of fish down there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fish. Mm -hmm. There's two things. One, that meaning our float because obviously uh, the tether is pulling itself down. Oh, yeah. Mm. Look at that screw. Bolt. This is good though, because usually what happens is I just keep playing out tether as I think is required. Mm -hmm. It never is as required as I think it is. Yeah, that's what I was wondering like, why I still feel attention to that. Even though you want to do it. That's what I was thinking. 
Sadly. Hmm. Probably one of those stupid floats. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Caught on something. I will frickin' murder you! <laughs> it's like this like, clicky keys thing, which I went into the settings and turned off, and yet it still is like, Oh, we think that you want some assistance. <laughs> it's really annoying. <laughs> well, this is alarming. Shut up! We can go up matter oh we can go slightly down. Okay. No. God. Turn it off for everything. Just stop ever doing it. <laughs> What is this? Turn on repeat keys and slow keys. What is this? Stop helping me when you're not helping me. <laughs> so. He's not. He is. Hmm. Hmm, it's coming out. Like if it was caught, it would just sit there like it had before. The tether issue is, you know, an issue. It's like a real pain in the ass. I was looking up neutrally buoyant tethers. There's some company that does it, but. It's okay, it's slower. Mm -hmm. um, it's just, it's the reverse of the propeller. So right. It just doesn't, isn't as efficient. But it is. They're consistently coming up, so... Mm -hmm. This isn't the direction that we want to go in. No. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be interesting to see where it comes up. Yeah. Uh, assuming that it can make all the way up with how much better it has. Yeah. Since, yeah. Is it pointing? No. Mm, it's still coming. Yeah, uh, let it let it uh, out because it. I mean, it caught on something, but that's not the same as. It's just warm because every once in a while there's like a pause. It stays in the seat now. Do do uh, do you have any jokes or songs? Chris has songs. <laughs> you don't you don't you don't have songs and you don't have your 
bike check. Mm -hmm. What would happen if a boat came by and there were huge waves? Oh, we already saw that. Yeah. Yeah, I've never had to experience this because I was just pulled up by the tether. <laughs> Fishy fish. So we're at. Uh, how deep do you think you could dive? <laughs> Ten feet. That's only. No, it's got to be meters. Ten meters. No, okay. Really like we just need meters. to get up. What? Well, how deep? Thirty, can you... 30 feet. That's that's painful. So ten feet. So, so we're gonna have to get it up to three meters then, before you can get it directly away for us by swimming around. And <laughs> I remember uh, diving at the University of Florida. We didn't see a pinkish club. We used to be able to catch the ball. Oh, yeah. Not much. It's like it's slowed. Like it's it's mm. it does keep coming, but like mm. yeah. no, it, it does keep coming, but it's really slow. Yeah. And, and yeah. It's not you know, pulling on here. So. It's caught on something right now, but it it seems to be like it's bouncing. Yeah. But the bouncing seems to be getting higher. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is uh. How to let's see if we can even find the bloody other. I really just spin on the spot. Uh, it's it doesn't spin on the spot very well right now. Hmm. We might have pulled, it looks like we pulled out of whatever snag it had been on. Through sheer recklessness. Mm -hmm. Oh. So you figure you can go three meters. At least three meters. Oh, that you sound confident. All right, so maybe four or five meters. So we really just need it to come up another five and a half meters, and then you should be able to go. So, uh, solar immigration expenses? <laughs> <laughs> they can be. Mm -hmm. uh, you could build a, a 3D, a 3D with the whole way. Yeah, you can get side scan radar. Uh, uh, all right, so we're, we're getting close to your depth here. Sweet. Yeah, stopping this, <coughs> stopping this close to the top would just—it's just like 
worse, you know, than it dying down there somewhere. Yeah. Quite <laughs> trying to off the lights up there. You could be. Oh. Shift I is different than I. <laughs> it's a thing. Yeah, we're, we're, we're well within your depth, so I think we're good now. Every time I joke, it seems to get snagged on something. Like it, it's, it's stuck again. It makes me wonder what it's caught on that it's able to like continuously pull, pull through it over and over again. Well, if you look at like, something like this, look at that rock, mm -hmm. like if one of those uh, floats got stuck in it, or... Yeah, but what I mean is it, it's obviously like fighting something, oh, yeah. and, but it, it is slowly winning is what I'm confused right. about. Is <laughs> what, how is it slowly winning? Right. Hmm. Right now, yeah, god damn you, so close! Like, just like, I don't need this stress. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you got caught last time, too. After the video turned off, you guys, and the battery was dying, we were really lucky. I went down and then came up, and it loosened it, and it came up. But I was almost out of battery power, and I couldn't have tried that well, if the battery had been quite as dead as. Mm -hmm. I'd let it go down a bit so that I try this thing. But if it's caught on something and then you go down, if you have the tension needs to release, it depends on where it, it is. Yeah. Four meters is where we've been for a while. I mean, obviously, I would dive in and get it if I knew where I was. Yeah. Given the. Um, oh, no, that's the wrong button, that's why. Some bitch. It's slipping and us by getting yeah 
Ever so slightly closer. That's really weird. Three meters, that's like, that's within your first estimate. Look at the camera up and not really seeing us. It is coming up again, though. No, it's just bouncing higher, so. But it's higher than three meters at its highest so far. Oh. But this just kind of released. This was stuck for a while. I gave it a little tugging and just released. Hmm. It's, uh... Should I start gluing this up? No. Not, 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 not. Yeah, we're at two meters now. Oh. I don't see us though. We adjusted the camera. We're above two meters now. Oh, oh there it is. Where? And that is some good news. <laughs> wow. Huh. So, you realize that? The line has gone down significantly. Like, that's interesting. That could have been a problem. Can you pull on the line and reel us into that thing? <laughs> no, we don't need to reel in because we are... Uh... Oh, lasers in my eyes! <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like there's something on, you know. Awesome is what that was. <laughs> There's never been an issue. Oh my god. It, it, like, it is, there is something, there is something on it. Like, that's gotta be it. Because it went down fast. Like, it's, it's clearly, like, how far did it go? Holy shit. Yeah, like Whoa. really fast. Whoa! Oh my god! Holy shit! Pull it up. 
Yeah, and when I... We could drive forward. What the hell? Hold the shift button. Okay, just hold that. Yeah, keep holding it. Oh, 
Don't worry about it. That's only an hour from the start time that the theory could have done this, right? And that was including being out there and all that. Yeah. <laughs> it's like we just started. Yeah. <laughs> just waiting for it to be good with it. Just pressing my bag. Period of time suddenly the cows start going the other way. It was pulling yeah. us that way. It was, yeah. And then now. It was going in, now it's going out. Like right in. But yeah. we had to. Yeah. That's. That's got to mean something. Yeah. <laughs> It had nothing to do with our crop action. We would never kill decent creatures. Love to see. I guess the other defense is there. Yeah. Oh my god. Do they not? In a sense, in any way. Switch sides. Sure. Look this, use it there, and then you can take it there. Yep. No. No.
Hold on, you see up? Hold the plug, hold the plug. So the keys on here are um, awful. Oh no. Um, just they're, you know, it's the flat. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. <clears throat> What's juice do you have? Do you have a juice meter? A juice meter? Yeah. The juice meter says 9.4 volts right now, which drops when we are. Uh, So this time we're going to we're going to attach that float to the tether. Yeah, we're going to attach it with plastics. Uh, so the thing is this one thing here is to measure out the amount of tether that's going on. This is the amount of heat.
This is right. We're going to have to fold this like that. Like this. And then we get to 300 feet. In the way that we have to do this. Okay. Where did the RV go? <laughs> it's under the boat. What are we at? We're at 25. Oh.
what we're doing there. Big float. There we go. Or... Yeah. Ah, I was pressing shift rather than forward. Oh. It just easy to do on this keyboard. <laughs> it's not actually a terrible keyboard, it's just terrible for this. Bubbles, air bubbles on the outside. Oh. It's close enough to. Well, it just has some air bubbles. Right. They'll even be there if uh, there's enough air around. Like when, say, two implode and that sort of thing. Okay. She's going down fast. Seven meters. Oh. oh, that was its own tether. Which I would assume suddenly new factor. It's seeing its own tether because uh, it has one prop, so when it descends, it's spinning. Oh, right. So now its tether is perhaps wrapped around the battery tubes. Probably not have had before. So that float is enough to hold 300 feet, 100 meters of tether. That's why I put it at 150 feet. Uh, it's been a little further along, but... Thirty-six, or twenty-six meters, twenty-seven meters, twenty-eight. Really should uh, be a dot scene. Lightsaber method. Oh yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's pulling it under now. 
Okay, thank you. Look at the slow its uh, descent, but. That at least means the tether is above it. Where are we at now? Uh, 230. And we're at 40 meters depth. Struggling might be putting it a bit rich. <laughs> Still going down. That's going down. Okay. Yeah. So, so it's 50 meters. So it must be going straight down from where that is. Yeah. Which is not really what. How do you get the get before? Uh, I think so. Yeah, we're at 46. Yeah, it's definitely fighting that. It was too close. But the way we assist it is by putting out some more tether. I think it's quite steep here. I think we're not going to run into anything. Yeah. <laughs> we're at 47. Yeah, it's, it's still above, although it's kind of too far. Still, this, I know this cliff is quite steep. First section of 150 feet is going down one way, and this section of 150 is only half as deep, right? Now. It's possible that the, uh, the wire is just threading through the elastic. It's possible, but the fact that the RV is not really going down oh. suggests. That's not really. But maybe I did my math wrong, but I thought that that one float would only hold a hundred meters of tether. That seem to be. Are we at four three? Basically, that's a hundred meters. So it should be not, it shouldn't be. Hmm? We're at 49. No, it's still. I think the problem is that this button might not be seen consistently.
Okay, so that's super lame, but we're gonna reel that in. And maybe put that one on. Or just walk the line up there. You can uh, let it off of that for now. into it, so I, I need to be failing on some stuff, but I haven't, I haven't seen to the whole, like it bounces around a lot. when I determined it could only hold, you know, 100 meters of tether. I'm still at 36 meters. off your big boat. <clears throat> well, this one is actually, it's not just shorter, it's also a smaller diameter. It's supposed to be the same. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just, I guess they just are optimistic. <laughs> Yeah, it can't slip. Sure, yep. I guess just reset it. Just reset it and you know that it's at 150 ish.
Yeah, uh, we need to surface again. Because I, I need to know where it is. I need to make it go out there. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. And I can't just drive it right now because we could be going yeah. any of 316 directions. Okay. It seems to be over there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> And if the tether was just neutral to begin with, this would all be. Yeah. I mean, you can still get tangled, of course. But... Why does my screen really want me to copy something? Here comes the difference. And we're right by the rock walls, you know. Exciting. I think the screen is uh, like touching and more some of the drops were touching the screen. There's something going on that thinks I'm like pressing control or something. Touch screens are awesome, but when they're not, you know. <coughs> it's definitely it feels a strong presence. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna uh, reset it. Where's all the water coming from? There's a plug at the back that's supposed to let water out. Might be letting it in. <laughs> Just does not want any 
input at all. It clearly thinks there's multi-touch going on or something. Uh, this has happened before, <laughs> once. Part of why I got the other people oh, I no, it didn't happen in the water, but just like issues like this. Yeah, the back button seems to, it seems to think the back button is on or something. Thank mm -hmm. you. 